Hello, my fellow Enclave members. I'm Mr. Mocha Lover, and thank you for joining me back here in Hearts of Iron 4, Old World Blues playing at the Enclave Reborn mod. Last time, we've expanded the Enclave's holdings, and we've researched many things. There's a couple comments we need to go over, but first we shall research something else, such as... That's a good question. What are we going to research? Robotics? Robots would be nice. They would be very nice. Can we do anything with the industry first? Get some local workspaces for population. First comment. Uh, I asked you guys, actually, yesterday, what we should name our army group. Big ol' army group? Well, I went with the name The Ghosts of Navarro, which I think sounds amazing. Perfect for this type of campaign. Amazing name. I love it, love it, love it. Next up, I also named our first army, our Enclave Power Armor Army, Fire and Brimstone, because these guys, when they rain down from their vertebrates and the gunships and... It's going to just be fire and brimstone where they're going. So, I think that's cool. But, I need your help. What should these names be? We have the Enclave Auxiliaries, you know, regular infantry, which we need to actually upgrade. But also, our robots. We need two names, something special, something unique. One's infantry, one's robots. I, we need something. We need a clever, witty, strong, inspiring name for these armies. Anyways, next up. Uh, make sure I continue doing things that... Give me more special forces. Absolutely, that's going to be very important. What else is going to be important is getting some trained mongrels for that. So we do have some army XP. Slight reserve of resources right now, or, you know, equipment. Let's go ahead and make this 17, 20. Make sure that what we use is good stuff. Make sure it's 20 combo with you guys are 16. Just go up to this. It's going to cost us resources and stuff that we, we really don't have right now. But I think it'll be okay. It should be okay. Hopefully in the long run. Yep. We had de Actually, that's not as bad of a deficit as I had thought initially. Next up. Uh, increase research cap for power armor. Pair drop. I should pair drop into my enemies. And I plan on it. I'm going to try it out. See what happens. I did make a list of cities in the NCR. When we go to war the NCR. To take them out. Such as pretty much any, any icon here you see with these little towns. Also... We have music playing, but we don't have the Hoi 4 list in here for some reason. I don't know why. Um, there we go. It's getting a little loud. I don't know. We could use these, but I kind of miss the regular Hoi 4 music. Whatever. Anyways, so I do want to invade, pair drop onto like Greater Dayglow, the Boneyard, the Hub, that uh, Native American reservation place, along 15, especially Shady Sands, just capitulate them as fast as possible. Because when we get to war, we don't have much time. We want all the enemy come up to our front, and then pair drop and just basically cheese them out. If possible, I hope we can do that. I really hope we can do that. That'll be very good, if we can. Right now, we're either going to reduce administrative shifts or something else. Enclave military, very good. Economic advisors, these guys are okay. I, I, like I said before, I really like this guy. Benjamin Curling, more elite support, more support, research speed, good stuff all around. Really good stuff. There we go. We have extended the beacons, which has allowed us to get more daily political power, and now we can finally purge the opposition. Robotic manufacturing is really important, so we can have the ability in a state to transfer resources to the Enclave from the Lawless Wasteland, which is good, even though we don't really technically have Lawless Wasteland right now. Whatever. I want to get this, but we got to purge the opposition. So, there are many in our midst who do not share our vision for the future. They must be dealt with. So we lose the reformers, so be it. We don't need the reformers. And let's go and grab this so we get even more stability, so we can get some more political power, so we can get produce things faster, and people overall would like us more, which is, well, okay. We don't really care if people like us or not. We have a mission, and we're going to get and accomplish that mission. That is the goal. That is the goal for us. And you know what? For now, if we need to train, go ahead and train a little bit. We got some more caps. That is good. Uh, other than that, that was, those were most of the comments. And yes, that is a very nice thumbnail I made, even though it's... It's cool. I'll leave it at that. It's cool. Can't make anything over here. Right now, let's take a look at the world. Now, it's good to note, they went with Thrasher. We gotta keep an eye on the Desert Rangers. They have gone down the path of the Steel Rangers, which is really not good for us. Really, really not good. Because, once we beat up the NCR, we have to go to war with the Western Brotherhood, because we have to have Navarro for our focuses. Navarro is extremely important for our focuses, because... When we get down here, we gotta do re resume the FEV experiments. We'll get down to there eventually. We poison the bear, go to war with them. They get, they can't attack, they can't defend as well, which is good. 
However, we also need to get to reclaim Navarro. We need to do that. We have to have basically Navarro so we can begin cloning experiments. That is incredibly important for the survival of us, our enclave. That if we can't do this, we might as well just give up now, which we're not. But that's okay. That's okay. We'll get there eventually. We can take New Reno. I have a feeling, and I've, sometimes I've got good feelings, sometimes I don't have good feelings, but I have a feeling that these guys might eventually come attack us, and where we can train and practice pair dropping onto command points. And Douglas Granite deserts. Granite has taken a few of his most devoted supporters and deserted the Enclave and Averted Bird last night. Support for the Reformers has dwindled with the disappearance of their leader. We lose manpower, unfortunately, but we also get basically get rid of the technocracy or those who believe. Oh. Granite, basically. Cool. Words are hard. The lights went off in New Reno. We'll see what happens. We'll see what happens if they attack us or not. Local workspaces. Ooh, that looks really nice. Mm, let's grab that just because we can for now. Clay working. Very good. Manpower. We're technically still mobilizing, but it's, it's definitely going. Definitely, definitely going. Arrange of disappearance. Yeah, this stuff doesn't matter since we're purging them anyways. Go ahead and grab that so we can lower our costs a little bit more. And... Play working very good. Just going to grab uh, output. Do we even have a military factory? I don't think we do. Yeah, we don't. So, if that's the case, just going to grab this then. Maybe someday we'll make a military factory. I am making. Hmm. We'll build that one up first, and then ah, good. We purge the opposition. Awesome. Look at that stability. 87%. It could be better. That's all right. Next up, we want to get even more stability down here. Our new base of operations. 20%. Four arms workshops, we gotta go for that as fast as possible now. So let's rebuild the airstrip. Hidden deep underground is here Army Depot's second hangar. Designed to act as a contingency plan, it holds within several VBO2s and the means to keep them running as smoothly as the day they were entombed. Oh yeah, that's good stuff. And I also have a cup of Enclave buttermint tea. We don't have many luxuries, but tea is one of them here in the Enclave. Good, good, good. Next up, this stuff is all good to do plane stuff. We're doing the land doctrine, which I'll get to in a little bit. Uh, let's go grab that. That's fine. Delicious. Alright, what do we want to do here? We'll get enough stability. We'll be fine on that. Not worried about that at all. So, we can actually take another dude here. Hidden economy? Good. Reorganize engineers? Good. We could choose Ambrose Blunt, but that really wouldn't make too much sense. Military-wise, I like this. Attack and defense repair drops. Mm. Luke Greer is pretty good for everyone, actually, though. 5% isn't that much. Indy Nidell, he's there. Major... Oh, major businesses. This could help us out with everything, actually. We might do this. Well, I mean... Mm. Mm. If it says rabid purist, genocidal officer... I, I have to do that, so... Awesome. And I did ask you guys yesterday whether we should do a flexibility of movement or flexibility of command. And there's pretty much overwhelming support for flexibility of movement, which overall just looks better than flexibility of command. Good. Let's let, let, let us let time go on. We have to hide our activities from the NCR. So be it. We get almost two political power a day. Actually, a little bit more than two. That being said, I'm thinking here. We may or may not see a war between the NCR and the Western Brotherhood of Steel. To a degree, I want to say that there should not be. I want to see the NCR struggle against the Vale Bandits, because we cannot allow the Western Brotherhood to expand too much. Hmm. Especially if they have the Desert Rangers with them. I'm hoping for an early war against Kaiser and the NCR, but we'll see what happens. Rebuild the strip, and let us get a new base of operations. While parts of the base remain in disrepair, we have found them ourselves an excellent base of operations for now. We can dedicate some of the machinery left here towards producing equipment. Boots my power armor cap, which is incredibly important. Only 25%. We need 50, 100%. We need unlimited power armor support, but maybe we'll get there eventually. Maybe. Purist. Good, good, good. White leg star walkers. Very good. Hmm, actually, what way is the 80s going? They do have a focus, technically, to go to war with the NCR if they choose a certain path. Now, we don't know which path they're going. We would love to see... A second Nevada Road War. Maybe not. Eh, coming home, of course. 
Uh, there's the focus for the 80s, a good war with the NCR, sack new Reno, but unfortunately they would have to go through us first, probably, to get to the NCR, but you never know. At the time of this recording, I still haven't played as that nation, so... Uh, sure. You might as well spend it since we're not doing anything else with it. Reduce research shifts? Sounds like... Not actually that bad. Let's grab some more war support. Get as much war support as possible for now. But at least... The country, the supposed country, the tribes of the mutants have been taken out by the marrow drinkers in the very last or first episode. White Leg's doing a good job against the Tar Walkers. Uh, what do we do here with this stuff? Military High Command, more... I like that war support, man. Air superiority, army XP gain. That can kind of wait. Archbishop, respected general. I think we have to go that way, but we got enough stability anyways right now. Next, oh, we could take Vault City. That's going to cost more. Oh, we get more resources. I love resources. But let us reopen the Sierra Laboratory for another research slot. Deep underground in the Sierra Army Depot is what remains of a lab focused on biological warfare. Here, amid the ruins, as a single vial of curling tube. A precursor of the lethal toxin lost during the destruction of Poseidon oil rig. Yes. And we actually finally have factories. We gotta get one of those. Gotta get at least one of those going. Ooh. We... Hmm... I really don't want to use robots. These five armor. This has eight armor. We can produce these more than twice as quickly than these guys. We are using them as frontline soldiers, though. Just produce this then. And I want to make sure. We're... Gunships. Uh, I love gunships. They cost so much, so much to produce. We do that. Eventually, we will get to the point where we can make all the stuff. We will. At least, though, we have factories, and we're going to need some doggos for that stuff as well. Good. Three cool things. We're doing very well right now. Next up, yeah, we're going to wait to get blue career, just in case you never know. Or, maybe I lied. Power armor, 5% more max speed isn't bad. Eventually, where we're going, we'll probably need... Maybe golden gecko, less defense. I don't like less defense for this, this campaign. Power armor research time. Nothing really here that says, wow, I should really get that. Oh, quality PA team. This is good. Just boost this up or produce them faster. Oh, God. I don't... I never know which one I should take. Should I get quality power armor? What do you think? Quality power armor or quantity power armor? Let me know in the comments below because I'm really open to either one. I like both. I really do. But let me know in the comments below. These guys, I am probably just going to choose this one because choosing this one wouldn't make any sense. Good. Even though we can't produce them, it'll help us research, research stuff quicker. Good. We're almost done with that. Maybe we can build a military factory. Maybe we can. Maybe we can't. I don't know. It's interesting we can also already do Tlaloc's designs. Uh, oh, it just requires basic new operations. That should be really be shifted up here or something. But whatever. Basic tools. Go ahead and grab that. Basic tools are good. I want to look at this real quick. Tlaloc's designs. Mexican efficiency, which... Change mutant recruit training law to the steel backbone. We can produce robots very quickly. Good, the Brotherhood's at steel with those guys. The ultimatum. We can just straight up annex them if we have a bigger army than them, which won't happen. We could go to war with them. We can ransack the labs. We can purify the city. Or have honorary humans, which we do get a core on them, which is nice. We can get a more electricity down here too, which is also very nice. Hmm. Decisions... Decisions to make. So many decisions. That's good. Get some of that. We're definitely going to need it. Next up. Def, 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 dirty FEV. Was someone at war? Oh, yeah. You guys are at war. Oh, you're just smashing the heck out of Arroyo. I don't like that. I really don't like that. We could begin a scavenging program, but we'll wait. We will definitely wait. Oh, they're, oh, they're getting attacked on two sides. That's sad. That's really sad. Ah, reopen. Good. Good. Reopen the vaults, resume FEV experiments. Plasma weaponry? Ooh, plasma weaponry. Oh, but we can produce it 30% faster. One 10 year ahead of time penalty reduction for power armor technology. Ah, oh, 30 no. Oh, God dang it. Ah, oh, you know what? We're not gonna choose that one yet. Let's go ahead and choose robotic manufacturing. Unfortunately, we lack enough human power to run the wastelands, but we can use the robots to exploit, should be exploit, the resources of the wasteland. Let's go and do this real quick before we make any sort of other decision first. 
I'll go ahead and do that. That's fine for me. Let's get this one done too. And thank you. Come back down here. Get some research speed because we're going to need that. We're going to need primitive radios for our land doctrine. A royal is gone in annex. It'll probably pop out soon under the Brotherhood. Probably. You never know. Let's see. Entrenchment, ground support. That looks really good, but we don't have enough stuff for that. Enough. Dynamite. Dynamite. That's a D word. Attorney General. Yeah, we'll probably get him just because we can. I love Arch Dornan. Everyone does. 80s. Cool. Division training time. More organization. Enclave officers look expensive. But not bad. Not bad. Loyal officers. No. Chief of staff. It's not bad. The Pentagon Reborn. Well, we can't go there. Mm, yeah. I'm gonna wait on that. Anything over here? No. We could get more stability, but that Just go ahead and choose Freeman's Fixers for now. That's fine. Uh, at least we're producing stuff. Oh, that feels so good. To actually produce stuff. To make stuff. And do you have anything for us, Major General Grimm? Uh, we're gonna go to Smith Doctor immediately. Because we're gonna need that where we're going. Gunslinger Division, Infantry, Recon. That might be good to do. So, next up. That's actually really good to have. Contact the Remnants. We can spend political power to call home straight Enclave Remnants. Man, that sounds really nice. But yeah, let me know in the comments below. Power armor or plasma weaponry? Because I love both. Even though we can produce power armor much more quickly if we go down that route, we already have Gauss rifles. And Gauss rifles versus plasma rifles, so the rif plasma rifles are on the right. All you get for this is 5 more soft attack and 10 less piercing. And it costs just slightly more. Just slightly. Everything else is pretty much the same. They have a little bit less hard attack. We are a little more hard with our Gauss rifles. So... You know, let me know in the comments below. I'm open to either one. Crowd control. We don't have the manufacturing base for that, but we do. I can make that one. That'd be good. Do that. Next up, we shall choose Clylox Designs. That could be really good. Mm, I haven't... I've never done this one. Let's contact the remnants, though. There are many veterans of the Enclave scattered throughout the wasteland. Let us call, call upon those who are still loyal to the U.S. government to return to the fold. And also boost our power armor cap, which is great. I love it. Oh, we already finished one of these. Huh. Yeah, hide activities, that's fine with me. We still get two a day. 2.15. Good. Marching fire, we're gonna grab, hit, and run for more speed and less organization loss. We get a few debuffs, but that's not too bad, you know. Less recruitable population factor, less max entrenchment, but we get more special forces capacity multiplier. Actually, how many battalions can we hold? We have only five divisions. We can hold a total of 88 battalions. Slaves escape from Vault City. Freedom is the right of every wastelander. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Hmm. Freedom, yeah. Freedom. Arbeit macht frei. Freedom. Cool. You guys, you got anything on you? Strong back. Cool. Nerd rage. Nerd rage might be important for you. Ah, uh, crop rotation's good. Make sure we have. We're really good on energy cells. We're gonna need them where we're going. And you. Contact the remnants. Well, we'll get there eventually once we stop having all this stuff happen at the same time. Contact the veterans. They still have to be equipped afterwards. Get army XP. Actually, do we have a decision for this? Bribe. Call the remnants. When removed, you get a thousand. And, oh, wow. Wow, that's a lot. Deal with the Yakuza. I'm not gonna deal with them because I do not want another border between me and the S Steel Rangers. Clearing out the natives, that would be bad, but we still have to hide for now, so I'm not gonna do that yet. What we're gonna do is open the vault so we can resume FEV experiments. So, the time has come to open the last few control vaults holding healthy human populations. Those that agree to join us can be added to our numbers, and those that don't have other uses. Call the remnants. Brothers and sisters, come home. That is some good tea. Ooh! We could probably also use a little bit more war support. I don't mind spending a little bit of political power for that. Max out that war support. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. Let's see. Can't do anything. Oh, we can hold military theory committee. That's fine. Might as well. What else are you going to do with it right now? Nothing. Alright, so what are these people around us doing? Future of the servants. Oh, standardized tools. A little bit ahead of time. Can't do that yet, because we got to do this one first. Go ahead and grab... Hmm, that could work. Grab that first. We just don't have the industry for very much yet. 
yet. So what is the NCR up to? Because that's our greatest threat right now. Just a huge threat. Steel Rangers, that's what I thought. Mm, trouble on the home front. Oh! Hmm. They don't have a lot of manpower, which is a good thing to see. But they, these guys are still pretty tough. Pretty darn tough. Good, good. We even get some, oh yeah, we got that done. We only have 19 in reserve. But that well, this is what I was talking about yesterday, using... Robotic garrisons deploy iBots. Ah, open the vaults very good. Let us resume FEV experiments. We lose stability, but so be it. By resuming the FEV projects of Mariposa, we will start down a road that will, may very well lead us to perfection. Once America sought perfection and was brought low far too soon, today we shall search for perfection and find it, or die trying. Absolutely. Oh my god, look at that manpower. We called home some remnants. Good stuff, my friends. Completed. Good, 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 good. I wonder if we can do that again. That'd be nice if we could. Steam powered extraction, good. Ooh, we might want that too eventually. We might as well grab that. Vacuum tubes. Vacuum tubes. Get that immediately. We have to get that so that we can continue with our land option because we're gonna go left. Purity. Cause it doesn't make sense for pure purity or pure enclave members to choose not choose purity in this campaign. That makes no sense. You know what we did to that administrator who was accused of being being or working with mutants? Or the other person that was suspected of being half a mutant? No compromise. No compromise here. Absolutely no flipping compromise. Hey, oh, you call him it's more expensive, but you lose even more manpower. Screw it, we'll do it anyways. We got we got enough manpower for now. That's fine with me. Go and do that. Just in case for energy cells, we'll do that. Very good, very good. Look at that. Beautiful. We're gonna need every single person on board. Every single one. We could do that, but we'll see what happens once we do this focus. We lose 10% stability. That's still not too bad, though. And... Eh, 3% down. That's not bad. Now, we can poison the bear. It gives us war support, and, but we go to war with the NCR immediately. We're not ready just yet. We can intensify research projects or efforts. We get more research speed. We lose a little bit of population, but we get more elite support and a research slot, which is nice. Or the perfect human. Organization, attack, and defense, which is incredibly important. Contact veterans. Unlocks three veteran fields. Field veterans decisions uses. Allows you to field enclave veterans at the cost of manpower. Ooh. We'll do that eventually. Another research slot? Well, if the Sierra lab in proper order, we can increase our research efforts to match our ambitions. At this point, we're doing really well. Ooh, Steel Rangers. Oh. My, middle, yeah, those people, whatever. I'm waiting for the NCR to go to war with someone. Because that's probably when we're going to go to war. Even though we are not... We don't have a large military. So be it. Whatever. We'll find ways of finding success. We will find success somehow, some way. Go ahead and bribe them. Lower the cost for now. We don't have to worry about that for a couple months. Oh, now they've done this. Hmm. How strong is the NCR? How much manpower do they have? I need information. 20 to 23,000? 44 to 74... Th hmm, hmm, hmm. This might be the perfect time to go to war. This probably is the most perfect time to go to war. We could get backstabbed. We could die doing this. If we die, then you'll see me fade in and fade out. Uh, because it was very difficult. And, regardless, Jubal Stevenson, not bad, not... Ooh, that's experience gain. Why? Why, Jubal? Or Jubal? That's so not good. Uh, we're going to go with Smooth Doctor. I love Smooth Doctor so much, as you can tell. Idiot Savant, get more attack. Yeah, I must get more attack. That's fine. You guys do this. And do we have planes? Yes. Oh, my God. We need these guys so badly. Good. You guys are going to go do that. I don't know how fast we might be able to capitulate the NCR, because they are doing quite a bit of damage to them. The faster we can research this, the better. It takes 40 more days. Ooh. Hmm. They're losing pretty quickly. But as long as they hold Tumble home, that's all they really need. And with Poison the Bear, they lose 30% attack, defense, stability, monthly population, division organization. They get way more attrition. That's a massive debuff. An insane debuff. Oh, man. It's... 
Hmm. Let's go and do that too. That's good to do. If that's a case. I want to be ready to go immediately. So, Nurino. This is a suicide mission. Oh, wait. Hold on. I don't want you all to do that. I just want one of you guys. I hope to God that they do not have divisions on these tiles. Because that would be very bad. This would be absolutely terrible. And this is probably the same way I'm going to try to take out uh, the Brotherhood. Greater Diggle. I'm going for all the big victory points here. This still, even if we do all this, it still might not be enough to capitulate these guys. I'm going to assume that with our infantry and robots, with our vertebrates, or gunships, I mean, we can probably still take Sac City, which should be good to go. One, two, three. We need this. And we especially need... Oh, we got the Boneyard. We're going towards the Boneyard, which is 30 victory points. I can't believe I'm actually talking about victory points. Yeah, five divisions, that's not going to be enough. So we got the Hub. We got the Boneyard. We got Dana Point. Dana Point. Uh, Greater Dayglow, as well as Shady Sands proper. Hmm. Come on, hurry up. You guys have to hold. Encounter with the Crimson Caravan. This happens all the time. Go and do that. We can get some more stability later on. That's fine with me. What are the losses like so far? Current wars. A thousand versus a thousand. Recycling. Go and grab this one. That's fine. Oh, please don't lose Temple Hall. Actually, they're only halfway, right? A little more than halfway. Oh, God, no! How, no! Yeah, mmm. We have to wait for the Paz Bandits or something like that. We're going to have to. Because I don't think they're going to be able to hold for Paymaster Landing. I don't think they'll be able to. That's disappointing. But, that does give us... We can remember Navarro. Well, that's not bad either. I like this one. But, uh, that does give us time to... Ensure that we have enough resources before we go to war. The Perfect Human, which is going to be very important to do. Tlaloc's so Designs... We could use more robots. So, although sadly the man who proposed uh, to hack Tlaloc was a reformer who suffered a plasma grenade related accident, we can still emulate Tlaloc's robot's designs. In a way, he's more human than many of the mutants who infest America. Absolutely. A sixth research slot. Never enough. Call the remnants. Form. Go ahead and do it. That's fine. Grab everyone we can. We're going to have to wait. I really don't like it. Hmm. Go and grab that. We might be able to make some of those later on. That's coming along. Hit and run. Very good. Walking tanks. Absolutely. Then mothers was annexed. You guys are holding on pretty well, though. But it's not enough. It's just... Yep, there they go. See? Hmm. Well, there goes that opportunity. We lost the opportunity with the Rapids. We lost the opportunity against the Scorpions. Hmm. This is not good. The bear roars. This... Where's that? The bear roars. Oh, it's over there. Okay. All is good in the boneyard. Primitive radio. Good. Finally. Grab that. We still... Mm, I, hate the... I hate that we can't make these guys yet. Uh, we need so many resources. Reduce shifts. That'd be a waste. Let's go ahead and grab him. That'd be good. That'd be very good. Uh, go ahead and pause for now. They've put some soldiers back on the line. So be it. We still need some power armor down here, too. Holy cow. Power armor is so expensive to make. So incredibly expensive. Robots. We got a few robots, though. That's good. Go ahead and come down here and grab that. And now we can... Actually, we don't need to put robots here since... This is a core of ours, so... Anywhere else where there's resistance, we can still put them down here. Like New Reno. Now, to actually transfer stuff, they have to be under Lawless Wasteland, I think. They have to fall into Lawless Wasteland, I think. Oh, wait. Exploit resources. Enslave locals. Oh, slave labor. Yeah, we can't do that. That's okay. Daily compliance gain? Huh. Wait, you can still get compliance gain, huh? Slave labor? I love slave labor. No compliance gain. No compliance gain. 
exploit resources, yeah. Hmm. Not sure exactly. To be honest, I really don't know how that works as well, but we're going to do this because we have a few robots, and that will lower the amount of men we need to garrison. This will tell you can go up to 50%, which is nice. It's very, very nice, actually. Yeah. One civilian workshop. Click to convert. Uh, we could, but I don't think we're going to do that. And then down here, once we get more robots, we will deploy them down here, which would be nice. Clerox design, so that's why we did that. Next up, the perfect human. Take Vault City. Streamline, power armor. Slave labor. Mm, that's super, super important. But let us remember Navarro. That'll be good. So, our older members clearly remember when the NCR and Brotherhood descended upon Navarro. Cut off from Enclave leadership, they nonetheless fought bravely. While most of us escaped the slaughter, those that stayed behind to delay our enemies died as American heroes. It is time we remember their sacrifice. Absolutely. Remember Navarro. Good. Let's go ahead and grab that, even though we, don't, we can't make that for now. In time, we will. In time, we will. Robots looking good. Looking good. We are still mobilizing, which is awesome. White Legs, New Canaan. God, I need more division so I can pair drop them. Mojave Raiders. What is Kaisar doing? Two sons? Come on, please go to war and kill everyone off as fast as possible. Hey, we've got another factory. Look at that. Another civilian or civilian factory. That's not bad. So now we can finally focus on this. Ooh, we'll be done by April of next year, which is quite a ways away. Go and grab that. That is fine. I'm glad we got a lot of research at least. Do that. You might as well. I gave you from the NCR. Nice. More research. Ah, uh, ten percent. You might as well. You might as well. What are we gonna do with all this uh, political power eventually, anyways? Oh, marrow drinkers are doing well against the apostles. Hmm. Good. Go to war. Kill each other off. NCR. Please tell me you're gonna go to war with someone else. Port Eridesh. In Colorado, Hero of the Mojave. Emergency Council. Good. Oh, wait. Oh, so the Emergency Council. Huh. I forgot about that one, too. Cool. Let us go ahead and choose. God bless the Enclave. That's not bad. But just in case we go to war, and if we need to do Poison the Bear, we're going to go ahead and grab the perfect human. So, the second goal of the FEV project was to create the Ultimate Soldier. Decades ago, we accomplished something close to that feat in the form of Frank Hergen. It is time to continue where we left off and perfect our formula. Good. This is all just building up. Building up for the next episode where we will probably end up going to war with the NCR, which is a good thing. Which is a very, very good thing. Yeah, we already... Oh, that's administrative shifts. Yeah, we don't need any more political power for that. Oh, good. Another division. I welcome another division into our ranks. And... Oh, yeah. Let's get this guy next. We're going to need that attack where we're going. Let's go over here. Ooh, chemical core or plasma weapon team design? Tesla. Infantry. Plasma. Tesla. Ooh, that's not bad either. I don't think we can build power stations though, so. Tesla weapons. Infantry. It really doesn't matter. Tesla. Tesla. I'll go plasma. Plasma sounds like nice. Sounds like nice? It sounds nice. 40%? That's not enough. Actually, how many can we field? You're currently fielding 40 and treating 8 of our 60. 60 a lot. That's it. Just 60? Man, we need more than that. Plating. Go and grab that next. Three days. And. Backyard workshops. Good. What resources do we need? Ah, composite materials. That makes sense. That actually makes a lot of sense. I doubt anyone would really want to trade with us, though. Do you want to keep making improved. Improvised mass drivers, the perfect human for more attack and defense, which and a lot more organization, which would be very nice. Very, very good. Alright, guys, what are you doing? You're still struggling with two sons. Riverbank fortifications, Phoenix outpost. White legs are looking pretty thick. Wow. The angels? What is the angels? Oh, it's black and something. The perfect human. Good. God bless the enclave. Uh, let's contact the veterans first. So, many of our hardline veterans of the Enclave have gone to ground deeper than most other Enclave remnants. With considerable resources, we can find those invaluable men and women and have them rejoin our brothers and sisters in arms. It's going to cost us manpower, but that might just give us some extra divisions we can play around with, which could be very nice. Pale Folk. Balti, you've been very quiet. Unusually quiet. Automated security. Please go to war with someone. Maybe not me, but someone. You guys, Warrior Colts, Modoc. We could go to war. Obviously, I. 
to be honest with you, right now I am delaying any sort of conflict because this is going to cost us stuff. It's going to cost us resources and stuff like that. Radar could definitely help. Definitely, definitely, definitely help. Probably NCR. Contact the veterans. All right, riverbank fortifications. Explore Silicon Valley. You have not released a royal, and it's hurting your resistance, which is good to see. Let's see, that's good, good, good. Let's finish off this one focus, and then we will probably end the episode and see what we can do with these decisions. Greer, yeah, we need Greer. That'd be good. Manage subjects, Lawless Wasteland. Special Forces expansion, good. Walking tanks, even better. Grab that. And then we can gonna grab... Grab some of that, even though it really doesn't matter for right now. Any other decisions? No, that's okay. I don't think, yeah, the Yakuza have a generic focus tree right now. Yeah. That's okay. Who's currently at war? Well, not Khazar's Legion. Oh, the Mormons are at war. That's right. 80s High Chapel. Alright. Wow, the 80s are really expanding. Which way do they go with their focus tree? Contact the veterans. Oh, optimism of the youth. Good. So, that's probably where we're going to leave it for today, my friends. Please, write down in the comments below. What should we do next? Plasma weaponry or streamline power armor production? Should we take out Vault City right now or wait? Should we go deal with the Yakuza? Should we clear out the natives? Should we just go ahead and go to war with the bear? Let me know in the comments below, but I, most importantly, I hope you enjoyed today's episode. If you did, consider leaving a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you all tomorrow when we will end up in a conflict with one of our neighbors. Thanks for watching. Have a great Enclave day.